Aloha, Hi Vibe Tribe, it is Pink Bella. Welcome back. This is the Quantum Galactic Update for all of us. And this is timeless. But I am recording this very close to the, to the beginning of June 2023. So thank you all Starseeds, Lightworkers, Empaths, 144,000. This is going to be an update to allow us to understand some of the pieces of the puzzle of what's going on right now and what we're preparing for. So thank you everybody for liking, subscribing, sharing. I'm so grateful for all the new subscribers. For all of those of you who are new, please check out all my playlists. I have so many playlists about star seeds, about Blu-rays, about uh, quantum healing, Akashic records. So I'm going to get into some uh, different topics today. And thank you everybody who's been checking out the deep dive. So I'm going to be doing like shorter readings on specific topics. So if you have like an interesting topic or question that you're wondering about, comment below. And if I feel like it's not YouTube worthy, I'm going to be doing some deeper dives on Rumble. And I'm also preparing another, uh, another show for Rumble as well. So thank you, everybody. And my beautiful tribe who've been with me for so long, I'm so grateful. So today I want to get into um, the solar flares, the, the DNA activations, we just went through five days of quantum timeline shifting, Schumann resonance being at 100 hertz and higher, which by the way, for those of you who don't know, the Schumann resonance initially was like at 8.1, 8.2 hertz. I think the average now, because Gaia, Earth, she is elevating too, her frequency is elevating. I believe probably 14 to 15 hertz is about normal for now, but we just went through 100 plus hertz for the last five days. What does that do for us? knocks us out and or sleeping like <laughs> sleeping have to sleep oh my gosh i have to sleep right now or other the flip side is can't sleep so it turns the switch one way or the other okay and sleep is so important right now even myself i'm taking uh herbal assistance to help me if i wake up in the middle of the night because while we're sleeping we're healing, we're clearing, we're upgrading, we're in meetings, we're doing so many things at such um, like vast timelines and transmuting things, you know, years of information while we sleep. So we're doing so much in our sleep that we're not able to do in this linear timeline. Okay, so that's the first thing. So what's happening is and I posted a an image yesterday that someone else had posted on the weekend. So what I do now is if I get knocked out, if I go through a period where I'm dizzy, something has just happened, then I investigate to see was there a solar flare, what's going on with the Schumann. So that's what I did on the weekend. And we're going through such an elevated um, activation of light codes, especially here in the Northern Hemisphere. The reason being is that we're starting to prepare for the solstice as the sun, when we're at wherever we are on the planet, uh, as the sun gets stronger, we're receiving stronger light code activations. So it's going to be impacting more of us on the northern hemisphere than the southern hemisphere right now. It does not mean the southern hemisphere that you're not receiving activations, but you receive stronger activations in your summer and vice versa. Okay. So that's happening. We just have gone through a collect a massive collective timeline jump we went through three actually and that's what we're everyone is starting to realize the blackouts on the Schumann resonance mean that there's been a timeline jump a timeline clearing okay so we've had multiple timelines collapsing for all of us collectively and individually to help merge more of our um, at soul aspects into this now moment we are becoming galactic beings we are becoming galactics on a mission a galactic in a, a human avatar so we're merging more of our galactic selves into our human avatar, okay? The other thing that's been happening is the rays are ramping up, whether we're gamma frequency, crystalline frequency, or plasma, and we're all at different levels, all right? So that's going on. And what I was given for myself after I got through it on the weekend, and um, I'm much, much more vibrant today, is that I am now, my chakras have been upgraded, they've been changed to plasma, I'm now elevated and connecting to the plasma grids to prepare me for the solstice and to help me help all of you. So let's split up what we're working on. We've got a couple things. We're all being, so what are the downloads doing? They're not only activating our DNA, 
but that's a big part of it because the DNA activations are allowing more strands to come online, which is giving us a, a deeper understanding, a deeper holographic experience for our missions. The next thing that's happening is we're preparing for the solstice here in coming up in June in a couple of weeks. Then we have the Sirius constellation seven, seven gateway, which is the countdown to the lion's gate um, in August, the 8th of August. Okay. So the Sirius constellation Stargate usually starts around the seven, seven portal in July, but I have a feeling it's going to start a little bit earlier. So there's that's going on. We are receiving the downloads we're receiving. We're also receiving massive amounts of light information that we will start decoding now to expand our consciousness, our neural pathways, um, to pre help prepare us for the next level of our missions. Now our missions are, you know, I have a personal mission to assist all of you, but we also have a collective mission where we're working on, you know, when we're sleeping, we're working together, we're working on grids, we're having meetings, we're doing all sorts of things because the dark and light story down here is moving into the next stage and we have to be prepared for that. So when team D, as I call them, when they ramp up their game, we ramp up our game. And that's what's going on right now. Okay. So we're going through these gal massive galactic upgrades for our next level of our missions, as well as being prepared to be connected with the next level of the earth grids. So if you're in the gamma phase, you're going to be connected to the gamma grids. If you're in the crystalline phase, crystalline grids, plasma phase, plasma grids. So I am now working with the new earth, also known as Nova Terra, plasma grids, and my chakras have been changed as well uh, for this. So the chakras will merge into pillars of light, but they will also unmerge into the chakras for detox and clearing activations and to show us that things are wrong. When the chakras are blocked, when the meridians are blocked, that's when we start having um, extensive physical issues, okay? So that's kind of a short version. We're also working together on new levels of light grid shielding, protection. And the battle's not only within, the battle is something that we came in to end and elevate to the next level. And we're, we've all been waiting for like our next mission uh, activations and this is it, we're in the midst of it. So if you got knocked out the last five days, like you had to sleep, that's why. If you also went through a period where you couldn't sleep, that means the switch for not for sleeping has been like turned on into not sleeping, and you have you'll you're gonna need to have to give yourself some type of assistance to get back to sleeping, because these bodies will just absorb light, absorb light, absorb light, and then we will be in this. I don't your the body will go. I don't need eight hours sleep. I only need four. But let's say you need to get up to go to work and you need more sleep than four hours. You're going to need some kind of assistance right now to help you through that, okay? Because I just went through that that as well. And I am now, um, you know, taking a little bit extra magnesium if I wake up in the middle of the night. And that's putting me back to sleep so I can get back to remembering, transmitting, and being at a high frequency to clear whatever I need to clear to elevate, to download, to activate, um, to assist myself and all of you, okay? So on the plus side as well, um, these upgrades that we're going through, if from now, this time forward, anyone who books a session or a bundle with me, you can find out what level you're at. Like, are you gamma, you know, um, crystalline or plasma? And I also can work with your higher self and your team of light to help ele elevate your chakras to make sure that they're functioning and that you're connected to the right version of the grid. So everybody's at a different rate right now. And I was, that's what I was giving for me yesterday, like for, to start connecting in with the plasma grids for Nova Terra now. Okay. All right. So I think that that's all I wanted to share today. Just that that's what we're preparing for. If you feel like, you're ready for that and you're being called for that and you want some assistance before the um, solstice, you check out the description box below and contact me. And there are some offers on right now. They're always, they're always changing. I just listen to my higher self and go in and update it, but um, email 
and all the information on how to get to me is below how to find how to contact me but email is the best way because I check my email a couple times a day and there are multiple ways to work with me zoom calls distance quantum sessions and they all to a certain degree have um, their benefits and they all have, to a certain degree have readings the distance heal sessions would have more of a quantum energy reading and you receive notes, whereas the Zoom calls will actually receive, um, you know, some cards that I'll pull for you as well. OK, but basically the same information comes in, but it's just in a different way. I just posted a deep dive for Twin Flames and Divine Unions, and there are uh, specific sessions that benefit you. But, you know, that's just part of your journey. Finding me like that's what I found out when I was the Twin Flame is that right away I realized a reading wasn't enough that I also had to make sure that my chakras were balanced. That, um, so that's why I incorporated all of that into a, an Akashic reading. It also includes a, a chakra balance, 12 or 22 chakras, based on when, the inform when, the, when I bring in information for you from your higher self and your team of light, that's bringing in light. And that light needs to come in and kind of shift everything. So the ba chakra balance, takes everything old out okay and that's also um part of the meditation into your kashic records same with your distance session as well all right so again just email me if you have any questions let's pull some cards and see what else wants to come in for us today and um but yes the battle's on everyone yes some of it is our shadow work that we're doing within but literally the battle out there is heating up and we're being prepared for that, okay? The, the final destination for us right now is the Lionsgate because it's such a galactic, a galactic activation from now through August. We're gonna be receiving so much information. Again, by the time we, by the time we reach the Yellow Brick Road, by the time we reach the Lionsgate, uh, we'll be so integrated and so like ready, okay? Uh, I feel like many of you are going to be moving out of your 3D collective jobs, if that's what you're doing, and moving deeper into your new start. Okay, let's pull some cards and just see if there's any other information that wants to come in. Karmic board clearing. So that's part and parcel with the light codes coming in and with us receiving new information. It might bring up triggers. It might bring up fear. It might bring up stress. It might bring up, I don't want to look at that. But we're also a reminder that part of our mission is energetic clearing, rewriting our story, and living our truth. Okay. I was going to say, that's probably what many of us felt like after the weekend. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else wants to come in. If there's any anything else, Russell. Again, third eye activation. And that also just came in last week. So this is elevating our light technology of our third eye are clear all the clairs right they're all being activated up to the next level brown chakra inner vision clear seeing okay oh this card stuck with that one the violet flame so remember as one of our superpowers we have access to the violet flame if you're new to that you can check out many meditations on youtube but i always bring this in for sessions and i use this tool for grid work as well karmic release radical transformation all right that's the main message just from those <laughs> those cards okay i'm going to pull a couple of uh, light stars decks both from the magical dimensions and the celestial frequencies uh just to see what other information wanted to come in to help us today boundaries so we're still we're and it's number six so we're moving into the sixth month so part of our initiations part of our tests will be what energy is in and around us that's distracting us that we're allowing to kind of take over our day so we're not able to move forward we're not able to get to any tasks okay and number six and this is about the impact all of us as empaths um working with some kind of shielding technique healing shield okay let's pull one more card from this deck let's see number 29 rebalancing lots of blues can you see all the blu-ray frequencies um if you want to know I have a whole Blu-ray star seed, um, a couple of playlists. And then the interview that I just did with Rob, we got right into the Blu-ray and the Blue Flame. So it, I know the interview is long, but we did a collective reading and 
a lot of really good information came in, so you can check that out as well, okay? Number 29, rebalance. Again, an astral healing shield. So many of us are out there working in the astral realms as well. That's part of our mission as well, okay? All right, I'm going to just move over to this other deck. And yes, and if you're... If you are being called to work with me and you're not sure, get to my website and you're like, whoa, too much information, just email me with a little bit of what you're wanting to work on uh, because a lot of what I bring in for you is to help you clarify the next steps for that house move, for that mission. What is your mission? What are your gifts? Uh, clearing away karmic and ancestral interference to allow you to move forward as well. Abundance blocks, all sorts of things, okay? Okay. Oh, number 14, exiled. Oh, my goodness gracious. Illusion, shadows, isolation. So some of you are feeling this, and this might not be right now. This might be um, coming up or has been coming up. You've been feeling isolated. You've been feeling exiled. That's old, 14. That's old, just to let you know. When we have something come up and trigger us by a person, place, or thing, abandonment is such a big wound for all of us and it really is, the bottom line is, it really is at one time or another, one lifetime, multiple lifetimes where we felt abandoned by prime source creator, by God, a goddess. Um, it's not true, but we're going through this point uh, that needs to be cleared once and for all, okay? It's like a loop, it's like a holographic um, implant and a, and a loop, okay? The next message that has come in is number five, celestial assistance. So we have lots of guides and angels that want to come in. They're always with and around us. Uh, messages, guidance, listening. So again, to really tap into that, that also, if you feel like you're not able to tap into your angelic, your teams of light, your higher self, again, there could be blocks in your chakras, in your, there could be some implants, there could be some, some seals, that's why the quantum J seal session has been so valuable for myself and many, there also could be um, ancestral interference, bloodline interference, you know, because our chakra system, our meridians, our quantum field are connected to our Akashic records, and you might be trying to, you know, um, flip on the DNA, and it might be blocked by these old soul contracts, um, black magic, time loops, all sorts of things. So again, there's the five you do just a reminder, you do have an angelic team, you are receiving guidance and messages. Sometimes we just have to shift it up or, or ask for assistance to allow that to bring us in. And then the final one, whoa, number 50, 51 gateway. Whoa. So we just went through a massive gateway. That's what I'm hearing. And that will be a continuous story that you'll hear me talking about from now through August. Okay. Mystery voyage travel number 51. So we are, well, we're on a spaceship called earth. Earth is moving. She's a spaceship unto herself, but we're also moving through a lot of gateways and the timelines are um, collapsing so that we're more unified in this now moment um, as well. Okay. And yes, we just went through a massive gateway a portal. We're always going through some type of portal, but this is uh, just a reminder. I love this. I love this image. Look at this. So there, it's like spending time out in nature. There's, uh, there's the doorway. There's the portal. There's the magical crystals, and we're walking through it and going to this other realm, this other timeline. Beautiful. Thank you so so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. I look forward to working with you if you're called. And one of the big um, messages is that I've been helping Blue Rays and Starseeds on your mission for a couple of years now, and that is ramping up again. You know you have you know you have a life purpose. You know you're a Starseed. You know you're a Blue Ray. I'm here to help clear out that clutter to assist you. So check out how to contact me below. Thank you so much for watching. It's going to be quite a busy time. I'll be back soon. Love and aloha, everybody. Take care.